Yes, now I have shared the screen. Is it visible to you? Please confirm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. Fine, fine. Thank you. Okay. Like every day, today also we are going to learn five structures. Let's see what the today's structures are. First structure is I'll help you plus V1 plus something. So the structure is I'll help you. With I'll help you, we have to use V1, V1 plus something. So what is this structure? Let's see how we can use this structure. Actually, this structure is used to express, to offer assistance to someone, to offer some assistance to someone. So here we are offering our assistance to others. Okay, let's see how we can use this structure in a sentence. Okay, I'll help you. Already I have told you, I'll help you after we have to use V1. Okay, so I'll help you move the furniture. Actually, the furniture is very heavy. Then we can say to the others, actually the someone is trying to move the furniture. Then we have seen it. Then we would like to help them. Then we can say like this, how I'll help you move the furniture. Okay. In the same way, I'll help you, but do your homework. Actually, someone is feeling difficulty to do homework. So you can say like this, I'll help you do the homework. Next, I'll help you find a job. So someone is uh, searching for a job. So you can say like this, I'll help you find a job. Next, I'll help you prepare for the exam. I'll help you prepare for the exam. I'll help you clean the house. So in this manner, we can create as many examples as we can with the help of I'll help you. OK, I hope you understood the structure how we can use. I'll help you plus V1. So what is this structure? The structure is used to offer. Offer to offer assistance to someone. OK, so now let's see some of the examples from your side. OK, please tell me. I'll help you. I'll help you. Drive a car. Drive a car. Very fine. Next, I'll help you. Read a book. Read a book. Very fine. Next, I'll help you. I'll help you teach English, sir. Teach English. Very fine. Next. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you construct the building. Construct the building. Very fine. Next. Start. I will help. I will help you uh, travel. I will help you speak in English. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Here are some examples from Venky side. I'll help you ride a bike. Okay, fine. I'll help you pay the rent. Very fine. I'll help you buy a new phone. Okay. New mobile. Very fine. Yeah, please. Continue. I will help you higher education. Yeah. I'll help you. I'll help you after you have to use V1. Verb. Yeah. OK, higher education. Higher is adjective and education is noun. So here you have to use verb. I'll help you go for higher education. OK. Yeah. Very fine. Next. Next. 
I'll help you. So here you might have understood this is IL. This is called IL short form. Okay, I will. I will, I will. Okay, both are same. This is contrasted form. This is called contrasted form. What is meant by contrasted form? Short form. Okay, yeah, please tell me. I'll help you. Search yeah, a new job. Search I will help you. Search for a ఎందుకంటే i'll help you win the game win the game very fine okay i hope you understood this structure are you understood yes sir yes You're sir fine. now let's see another structure next structure is i am dying to i am dying to plus v1 plus something okay let's see how we can use this structure actually why we should use this structure so this structure is used to express to convey a strong desire or eagerness to do something ante mana edo oka korike tho edo cheyali anukune tatvanti enthusiast enthusiasm tho cheyali anukune tatvanti oka vishayanni చెప్పాలనుకున్నప్పుడు ఈ యొక్క స్ట్రక్చర్ యూజ్ చేయాలి అంటే బాగా ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఆ యొక్క ఇంటెన్సిటీని బాగా ఎక్కువ ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఉన్న దాన్ని చెప్పడానికి ఈ యొక్క స్ట్రక్చర్ యూజ్ చేయొచ్చు అనమాట సో ఆ ఇంటెన్సిటీని తెలియజేయడం కోసం ఐ ఆమ్ డయింగ్ టు అనే ఈ ఫ్రేజ్ ని మనం యూజ్ చేస్తున్నాడు వీఆర్ యూజింగ్ హియర్ ఐ ఆమ్ డయింగ్ టు టు షో ద ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఆర్ ఎల్స్ ఎ స్ట్రాంగ్ డిజైర్ ఆర్ ఈగర్నెస్ ఓకే now let's see actually with the with this structure we have to use the verb v1 so the verb must be in v1 with this structure so what is the structure i am dying to okay let's see some of the examples i am dying to what see that new movie in theaters ante aa cinema ni meer endulone choodal anukuntunnaru theater lone choodal anukuntunnaru anamata so it might be some interesting and uh, you won't get uh, that much effect by seeing uh, on uh, tv at a small screen lo chotam kanna meeku pedda screen lo chustane aa yokka movie baaguntad anipinchindi appudu em cheyachu nenu i am dying i am dying to see that new movie in theater okay in the same way i am dying to taste the delicious food at that new restaurant this is called restaurant not restaurant generally we pronounce restaurant but its correct pronunciation is restaurant okay i am dying to taste the delicious food at that new restaurant i am dying to travel to europe and explore the beauty city beautiful cities i am trying to travel to europe and explore the beautiful cities i am dying to try skydiving it's it has been on my bucket list for years i am dying to learn how to play the guitar and write my own songs so we can write some of the sentences which means to convey a strong desire or strong feeling or eagerness in us మన యొక్క మనసులో ఉన్నటువంటి ఆ స్ట్రాంగ్ డిజైర్ ని ఈ ఒక సెంటెన్స్ రూపంలో చెప్పాలి అనుకున్నప్పుడు ఈ విధంగా ఏ స్ట్రక్చర్ ని తీసుకోవచ్చు మనం ఐ ఆమ్ డయింగ్ టు దిస్ ఈస్ ద్రేస్ కెన్ బి యూస్ సో విత్ దిస్ ఫ్రేస్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ బి వన్ ఓకే సో లెట్ సి సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ సైడ్ ఐ ఆమ్ డయింగ్ టు అంతేగానే i am yeah. dying to do the good job in 
good mnc's yeah i am to i am dying to do the job job in the in top the... mnc yeah okay okay fine next i am dying to I am dying to practice. Yeah. Car driving. I am dying to practice car driving. Okay. Next. I am dying. Yeah, Ravi Kumar, please unmute. Yeah, some noise is coming from your side. That's why I kept you in mute. Yeah, please, please come am, to unmute and tell me. I am dying yeah. to teach English. I am dying to teach English. Ah, uh, English. I am dying to. I am dying to become a best SAP consultant. Very fine. Okay. Next, mm -hmm. I'm dying to. I'm dying to. I'm dying to travel a world tour. Travel a world tour. Very fine. Next. I'm dying to drive a car, sir. Drive a car, very fine. Yeah. I am dying to prepare a tasty food. Uh, tasty food. Tasty. Okay. Generally, we pronounce this food, but its correct pronunciation is food. Who? Who? Second who? Not first who. Generally, we pronounce food, but Ooh. correct pronunciation is food. Okay, fine. Yeah, next. I am dying to buy. Buy a car at any cost. I am dying to test a play cricket. Yeah. Here, one thing you must understand while using this structure, the verb must not be in ink form. I mean, after yes. two. Okay? Yeah, fine. I am dying to? Test here. Test here. Yeah. Play cricket, sir. I am dying to play test cricket. Play test, okay. okay. I am dying to play. Test match. Not test cricket. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay. okay. I'm dying test. to see. Yeah. Arna Chalam. Arna Chalam. Mm. Okay, fine. Okay. Have you understood? Yes, yeah, sir. fine. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, fine. Let's see another structure. Another structure is it's my turn. It's my turn plus V1 plus something. Okay, the phrase is it's my turn. So let's see how we can use this phrase. Means 
structure. Okay, for its purpose, we can use this. This structure is used to express that it is now your that it is now your opportunity. It is now your opportunity or your responsibility to perform a particular action or a task. Which means now you are going now. It turns to your chance. And next, me chance. And then, at the end of the day, I'll tell you, it's now your opportunity or responsibility to perform a particular action or task. And I put one by one, I'll tell you, 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 now it turns to you. And I put it, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. So, in that condition, we can use this structure. What is the structure? It's my turn to. Ante ne ne chayali. Ante ipun na turn an mata. Okay, fun by fun just kundo asna. Ipun me chance hoychi. Apni me range abtaru. Now it's my turn. Enta turn cook dinner tonight. Heroju. Ante suppose wife and husband onnaru. Morning wife prepare chayadan jari ni. Lunch. Ipudu dinner prepare chayali. So Munde Miru Anukunaran Mata. Apudu husband Evan Darante, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. And I put na 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 turn on that. Okay. Atuantic situation low, we can use this structure. It's my turn. Okay, in the same way, it's my turn to give a presentation in the meeting. Presentation means not gift. Okay, perform. Okay, it's my turn to drive the party. Drive means here to continue. Okay, to continue the party. It's my turn to take care of the baby. It's my turn to do the laundry this week. And the bottle of the dog. Okay, so this is, the, this is the way we have to use this structure. Okay, now let's see. Some of the examples from your side. So it's my turn plus V1 plus something. So we have to use only V1 after this structure or uh, trace. Okay, now please continue. Give you an example. It's my turn to give you an example. You an example. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fine. Correct. It's my turn to. It's my turn to pick my children in school. Pick my children in the school. Okay, fine. It's my turn to. It's my turn teach uh, my children homework. My children. Very fine. Next. It's my turn to. Change my life in future. Change my life in future. Very fine. Next. Turn to. It's my turn to learn English. English. Very fine. Yeah. Next. Help the poor. Here, one thing I must tell you. Here, I, I have written the poor. This is P O O R. You generally pronounce poor, right? Yes, sir. But its correct pronunciation is. Tua. 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 Not tour. It is Tua. Okay. Tua. This is not cure. Tua. Tua. I hope you understood. Tua. 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 Okay. So. Okay, fine. Now. Huh, one more thing. The poor. The poor means the poor people. The rich. 
the rich means the rich people the english the english means the english people the french the french means the french people i hope you understood okay oka varganni teliyestad anamata ee pog mundu di pette adapudiki em jarugutad ante oka varganni teliyestad anamata the po ante the po people the rich ante the rich people ani artham okay ante mana ikkada rich po people ani rayalasina avasaram ledhu ikkada already it is understood default డిఫాల్ట్ గా దాని ఆ మీనింగ్ ఏ పో పీపుల్ అని ద పో అనగానే ఓకే ద రిచ్ అనగానే ద రిచ్ పీపుల్ అని అర్థం ఓకే ఐ హోప్ యు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఫైన్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇట్స్ మై ఇట్స్ మై టర్న్ టు స్ట్రెంగ్త్ మై ఇంగ్లీష్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ మై యా హియర్ యు షుడ్ కీప్ వర్బ్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ యు హావ్ టు యూస్ వర్బ్ హియర్ సర్ చే గుడ్ జాబ్ పాడన్ ఇట్స్ మై టర్న్ టు సర్ చే గుడ్ జాబ్ ఇట్స్ మై టర్న్ టు సర్ చే గుడ్ జాబ్ సో సో ఏ గుడ్ జాబ్ వరి ఓకే ఇట్స్ మై టర్న్ టు బిల్డ్ ఏ కమ్యూనికేషన్ సర్ స్ట్రెంగ్తన్ వాట్ యు సెడ్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ బిల్డ్ మై కమ్యూనికేషన్ యు యు యూజ్డ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద సెంటెన్స్ strength my turn to strength not strength, yeah. strength is uh, noun strength strengthen uh, strengthen strengthen okay strengthen is a verb okay okay yeah sir. it's my turn to strengthen my what you said communications my communication fine uh-huh. it's my turn to very fine okay next it's, it's my turn my... to yeah it's my turn to control my emotion control my emotion very fine so in the start let's see some of the sentences might be from the night it's my turn yeah it's my turn to send the daily report okay fine it's my turn to share the computer screen very fine it's my turn to update the project very fine it's my turn to donate the amount very fine okay i hope you understood have you understood this structure yes, this confirm yes, you are fine yes, thank yes, you sir. now let's see another structure okay let's see the next structure what is the next structure it's hard for me to it's hard for me to plus v1 plus something okay so let's see the phrase what is this phrase this structure is used to express that you find a particular action or task difficult or challenging ante meer cheyabothunnatondi aa pane edo chaala kashtanga challenging ga undatam anamata అలా ఉన్నప్పుడు మీరు ఈ యొక్క స్ట్రక్చర్ ని మనం యూజ్ చేయొచ్చు ఏంటి ఆ స్ట్రక్చర్ వట్ ఈస్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ ఇట్స్ హార్ట్ ఫర్ మీ టు ప్లస్ వన్ ప్లస్ సంథింగ్ ఓకే ఏంటి ఆ కష్టం ఇట్స్ హార్ట్ ఫర్ మీ టు ఏంటి వేకప్ ఎర్లీ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ అంటే మార్నింగ్ లేవటం చాలా కష్టంగా ఉందన్నమాట ఇట్స్ హార్ట్ ఫర్ మీ టు ఏంటి ఫోకస్ చేయడం ఫోకస్ ఆన్ మై వర్క్ వెన్ దెర్ ఆర్ డిస్ట్రాక్షన్స్ అరౌండ్ ఇబ్బందులు ఉన్నప్పుడు మన పక్కన మన చుట్టుపక్కల ఇబ్బందులు ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏం చేయాలి ఫోకస్ చేయాలన్నమాట ఫోకస్ చేయడం చాలా ఇబ్బందిగా ఉంటుంది అనమాట ఇట్స్ హార్ట్ ఫర్ మీ టు ఏంటి చాలా కష్టంగా ఉండటం సే నో టు పీపుల్ హూ ఆస్ ఫర్ హెల్ప్ ఎవరైతే హెల్ప్ అడిగారో వాళ్ళకి నో అని చెప్పాలంటే చాలా కష్టంగా ఉంటుందంట ఓకే ఇట్స్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ 
to say no to the people, such people who ask for help. Okay, next. It's hard for me to, ain't Custom ain't Keep up with my exercise routine. Rose exercise eight on it. Kali bandi on tan danda. It's hard for me to, ain't Stick to a diet plan. Diet plan and a diet. Same and a strict diet plan follow kar and a. Sala bandi on tan de. Ain't ante man ke adi idhi tanal pesu de. Man strict diet plan party jeta puru man ke. Chalne kada. So it's very hard. To stick on. Okay, fine. I hope you understood. So, what is this structure? We are using it's hard for me to structure. After this structure, we have to use only V1, V1 plus something. Okay, fine. Now let's see some of the sentences from your side. Okay, fine. Please continue. It's hard for me to. Each error just, in a SAP, sir. Yeah, just a minute. Just a no. minute. Yeah, please. It's hard for me to. Hard for me to solve a problem. Solve a problem. Yes, sir. Very fine. Yeah, next. Hard for me to. It's hard for me to eat hard food. Eat. Hard food. Hard food. Hard food. Yeah, right. Fine. It's hard. It's hard for me to. Come to institute, sir. Yeah, come to. Institute. Come. To institute in the rainy Come season. The uh, okay. Come yes, to institute. Yes. In the rainy season. Rainy season. Okay. And the reason. Yes. Reason Japal Gamano. Tapapapena Parvala. Mano eight and take a one thing you can notice. We can uh, write more sentence. The name yeah. Manika Panjotu. We can extend it. As long as we can, but it depends on our skill. The ninka panchali ante, the ne constructions kunta vella ante. Mane ninka knowledge peru tha ante. Ninka ninka the ne panchu chhe. Anta save na raaye chala ga. Okay, fine. Okay. It's hard for me to come to the come to institute institute in the rainy season. Okay, fine. Now let's see. Uh, this is uh, these sentences are from Venki. It's hard for me to stay in the traffic. Very fine. It's hard for me to come to the office. Very fine. Come to the office uh, in the heavy traffic. It's in the hard for me. Heavy traffic. And it's my bench coach. Atla. Okay, fine. Next. It's hard for me to. It's hard for me to. Waiting for someone. To wait. Hmm. Wait for someone. Some. Very fine. Next. It's hard for me to. It's hard uh, for me to teach hmm. English uh, others. English to others. To others. Very fine. Very fine. Next. It's hard for me to told to tell to my mother, don't uh, see the mobile. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell to my mother not to see. 
मोबाइल मोबाइल रिफाइन नेक्स्ट इट्स हार्ड फॉर मी टू ड्राइव ए कार इन हेवी ट्रॉफिक ड्राइव ए कार इन द रिफाइन इट्स हार्ड फॉर मी टू क्रॉस द रोड इन हेवी ट्रॉफिक क्रॉस द रोड Heavy topic. Yeah. Okay, very fine. So I hope you understood this structure also. It's hard for me. Yes, sir. Yeah, I understood. Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Now let's go to the next structure. Pick the structure. so the next structure is i am having a hard time i am having a hard time plus v1 plus ink form okay what is the structure i am having a hard time with this stress we have to use v1 plus ink form plus something let's see in in which context this can be used this structure can be used so this structure is used to express that what you are experiencing difficulty or struggling with an ongoing action or activity so it's hard time it's having a hard time ante chaala ibbandi karamaina paristhi anamada enta adi ela use cheyachu chuddam sentences lo let's see how it can be used in a sentence i am having a hard time concentrating today ante ee roju chaala kashtanga undi anamata concentrate cheyadam ante ikkada meeku em cheppanu and already i have told you i have i am having a hard time after we have to use the verb must be in ink form v1 plus ink form okay next i am having a hard time understanding this concept i am having a hard time falling asleep at night falling asleep nidra padu nidra padu anmadu i am having a hard time keeping up with my workload i am having a hard time finding the motivation to exercise so what is the structure the structure is used for experiencing a difficulty or struggling with an ongoing action or activity okay now please tell me some of the examples from your side i am having a hard time i am having a hard time uh, understanding the client words understanding the client words understanding the client client words very fine i am having a hard time teaching the english classes sir teaching english classes yeah very fine i am having i am having i had to am oh. hard time solving a math problems solving math math problem math Okay, fine. I am having hard time manage thing. First, managing professional managing. life. Managing. Manage, sorry, managing personal life and professional life. Personal and professional life. Very fine. I'm having a hard time to learning. Uh, I'm having a hard time learning, not yet. Learning. 
learning yeah. to other communication skills learning other yes sir very fine i am having hard time i am having a hard time yeah learning new technology learning new technology very fine next i having a hard time to speaking speaking with others speaking to other yes sir in in subject in okay. uh, uh, yeah okay yes sir reason yeah fine next i'm having a hard time controlling my children's very fine next having a hard time uh how to explain uh, explaining the errors sir uh, explaining the errors or debugs explain the error very fine i am having a hard time um, take care of my family okay fine take care uh, sir how to uh, here is you using only ing form is come sir but uh, here only verb will taking come taking care yeah, yeah, yeah we are explaining taking care mm. care of my family yeah okay. taking uh, taking care of my family uh, yes sir okay having, yes sir yeah fine i'm having a Next. hard time taking care of my health taking care of my health Very fine. Okay. I'm having a hard understood? time. When, oh, okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Continue. Continue. I'm having a hard time. No hard time. So spending with uh, more improve our communication. Ah, uh, more improve our uh, sir uh, FI knowledge, sir. Financial knowledge. Spending. Spending. Ah, spending, uh, spending. More time. Ah. Spending. Huh? Ah, uh, more time in uh, financial. What time in? Yes, yes, yes. Fine, all right, sir. Okay, I, I am having like... hard time spending more time in S C P. In S C P. In F I. Yeah. F I. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, let's see. Mike Sevenki, all right, sir. Yes, sir. handling the team okay i am having hard time <coughs> handling <coughs> handling the team okay fine i am having a hard time improving english yeah, okay next uh, i am having a hard time noting you yeah okay okay fine okay okay sir i understood yes i understood sir yeah fine thank you so today we have learned five structures like every day so the five structures are i i'll help you plus v1 plus something means i will help you i'll help you structure and i am dying to structure and it's my turn to structure 
and it's a hard for me to structure. I am having a hard time structure. So totally we have learned five structures. So with these five structures, we have learned 35 structures. Okay, fine. Now, I would like to explain you today about simple past, about simple past. So what is this tense? Let's see. Simple past tense. What is this tense? This tense Are is I used for the action which finished in the past. Action which fin finished in the past, which means finished. Actually, what is this simple past? Finished action. Okay. So, if you want to describe it, uh, this tense is used to express the action which finished in the past. Okay. So, let's see the structure. The structure will be like this subject plus. V2 plus something. Subject plus V2 plus something. So in this uh, in this structure, means in this tense, let's see some of the keywords which use. Means which we use. Yesterday, last week, last month. Last year, in 2020, etc. These are the keywords can be used in this tense. Okay, what is the structure? Subject plus V2 plus something. What is this tense to express? Finished action. To express finished action means finished in the past. Okay. So with all subjects, which means with uh, I, V, U, they, he, she, it, and any singular and any plural, with all these subjects, we have to use V2. So here, no singular, no plural. For every subject, we have to use V2. Okay. Now let's see some of the examples from this tense. I completed my work. He played cricket yesterday. They helped me last month they helped me last month he went to Elhi in 20 2019 see here one thing you must notice i have used here some of the keywords which can be used in this tense, which are yesterday, last week, last month, last year, in 2020, like this. These are called time denoting adverbs. Time denoting adverbs. Okay. Time denoting. So these are the keywords can be used. Actually, these are positive sentences. These are positive sentences. Now let's see some negative sentences.
negative sentence so to make negative sentence we have to use did did not in this tense okay fine the first sentence i completed my work i did not complete did not complete complete my work complete my work okay so one thing you must notice here i used completed but here i used complete because already i have used v2 in did do did okay so did plus v1 we should not use did plus v2 okay already mm -hmm. it is in v2 okay now he played cricket yesterday he, he did didn't not, play not didn't play uh, did not play cricket play cricket yesterday yesterday okay next they helped me last month they didn't help they did not help me last month, me last month. month. Didn't, didn't or did not help, help me last month. Last month. So here you can notice didn't is contrasted form, means short form. Did not. Here we have written separately. Okay, fine. Now she next didn't he go. went to she Delhi. She didn't, she didn't go. go. She didn't she go to Delhi in 2019. Did not. Go, go to, to Delhi. Delhi in, in two thousand nineteen. Okay, so this is negative sentence. This is negative sentence. Now let's see how we can write these sentences. I mean, these sentences in interrogative. Okay, so we have to start with did. Did plus subject plus V1 plus something question mark. Okay, now I did not, I completed my work. Did I complete my work? Mark. He played cricket yesterday. Did he play? Did he play cricket yesterday? Cricket yesterday? Question mark. They play. They helped me last month. Did Good. they help Good. me last Good. month? Question mark. She went to Delhi. Did, Did she, she go, to Delhi? go to Delhi? Did hmm. she? Go to, go to Delhi. Go to Delhi. In two thousand nineteen. Question mark. So this is called interrogative sentence. Now let's see negative interrogative. Did not. Okay. Did How not. we can write? Did let's see. Did not. I did not. I complete my work. Did plus. Yes. Not. Mm. Subject plus not, not plus V one plus something question mark. Or we can write uh, didn't didn't plus subject subject plus. V1. V1. V1 plus something. Something. Okay, so let's see. Did I complete my work? Did I didn't did I didn't, not complete? Didn't I complete, complete my, my work? Or else we can write did I not complete my work? My work. Okay, next. Did he play cricket? Did he play? Did he not? Did he? Didn't he play? He play cricket. He play cricket yesterday. 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 Question mark. 
Okay, did they help didn't me last month? They, didn't they? Didn't they help me last didn't month? Didn't they last help me last month? Last month? Question mark. Next. Didn't, didn't they go to in 2019? Didn't, didn't they? Didn't she? Didn't she? Didn't she? They go. Um, she go didn't to the. Didn't she go to Delhi? In 2019. In 2019 question mark so this is the way we have to use this simple path okay already i have told you the keywords which can be used in this structure okay the keywords are yesterday last week last month last year in 2020 beyond etc okay now let's write some sets at one. Okay, take your verb and tell me in sequence. What is the sequence? The sequence is positive sentence, negative sentence, interrogative sentence, negative interrogative negative sentence. Negative sentence. Okay. I hope you understood the sequence. The sequence must be followed. Okay, now tell me. He learned English. Learned English. Okay, now this is positive. Now please tell me negative. He he didn't he learn to English. He didn't learn. Learn English. Didn't learn English. Fine. Next interrogative. Did he learn he English? Did he learn English? Very fine. Right. Didn't he did not he learn didn't English? He learn, didn't he learn English? Didn't yes. he learn or he did he English. not learn? Didn't English. he learn? Okay, didn't he learn didn't, okay. or did he did not he learn? Did he not learn English? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Both can be used. Okay, now. Set two. Please tell me from your side. Set two. Take a V two verb and tell me. I play cricket. I played cricket yesterday. I played. I, I played, played cricket. Yesterday. Okay, fine. I, I did I, not play cricket yesterday. I didn't play cricket yesterday. I didn't or uh, did not play cricket yesterday. Very fine. Did I play cricket yesterday? Did I play cricket yesterday? Very fine. Did I play cricket yesterday? Cricket yesterday? Cricket yesterday? Didn't play cricket yesterday. I, I played. Didn't I? I, play, I, uh, I played cricket yesterday. Cricket yesterday. Very fine. Okay. I understood the usage of this positive, yes, negative, interrogative, and negative interrogative. Ante ekada manaki em teliyal ante oka positive sentence teliyali dhan in negative vodhu anna vishan teliyali interrogative. Presidential Teliali, Alage, negative and tragedy Goda, Telialan matter. For example, sentence Laundi Did they help you? And a presidential. Then we put Eman answer there too. Simple ga, yes. Yes, they did help you. Le no. No. No, they didn't yes. help. Simple ga, simple ga jappa chan mata. Mm. Inka continuous challenge, continuous challenge. Yes, they did. An jappa. No. They, they didn't. didn't. They didn't. Didn't. They didn't. An jappa. Okay. Yes. Okay. Atla. 
Okay, fine. I understood. Yes. Are the main thing? Are the main thing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. <coughs> okay. Now. Please tell me a story in Telugu. Telugu log story Japan. Chenna story. Kadha thakar. Or simple ga. Okay. 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 Tabelu Kundelu Kata. Okay, fine. Tell me. A Kadavilo, a Tabelu Kundelu Undi. New Sistu Undi. So once upon a time, sorry, Okoroju Arunditiki Combination forty petkun nai. So Paripanal petkunavi Tabelu Kundelu Kunchum. Proudness, Ekua. So, okay. uh, so Nene Vinautanu, Nene Nene Vinautanu, and Adi Mundiga Vadi Sundi, Alla okay. Kunchum, laziness toti, Mundukuelaka Padukundi, of Chutikinda, but okay. Tabelu non stop Adi Agakunda, Ekada, Echota Agakunda, conference toti, Adi uh, Munduk Pargitu Untundi. So, Allah okay. Parhitarambala, uh, Tabelu Vinotundi, uh, Kundelu um, overconfidence thirty and uh, laziness thirty, Okachetik in the Padukun Potundi. Mm, okay. So, um, final ga, uh, Tabelu Vinotundi. Okay, fine, fine. So, you have explained us, it means you have narrated a story in Telugu. So please narrate the same story in English. Just know what you have narrated. Okay. Once upon a time, uh, lived in a uh, uh, forest. Uh, sorry, once upon it, uh, a sorry. Um, a tortoise and a rabbit uh, lived in hmm. lives in a uh, forest. Uh, one thing, one thing you must remember: all the story finished in past, okay. which means V two. V two. Yeah. Okay. So you have to take V two. Okay. okay. If you wanna use live, lived. Lived. If you wanna run, run. You have to use ran. Mm. Okay. Okay. So take V two. All the verbs must be in V two. Okay. okay. Then. You feel easy. Okay, fine. Continue. Once upon a time, uh, one rabbit and a tortoise uh, lived in a forest. Mm, okay. Uh, in one day, oh, sorry, on one day, uh, they uh, mm, they taken a competition. Mm, so, in that competition, uh, th there is a a running running competition. Uh, so participated the uh, participated the rabbit and Tata is in the competition. Mm, so uh, but uh, uh, the rabbit uh, how uh, had the rabbit had uh, mm, a little bit proudness and laziness also. Uh, but uh, Tata is has a uh, had. Yeah, uh, Tata is had uh, mm, behaved uh, like uh, intelligent. So, uh, uh, run, uh, run, uh, run, uh, run fastly. But uh, Tata is slept, uh, sorry, Robert slept uh, under a tree, slept under a tree uh, with the laziness and uh, proudness. But fine, finally, that uh, Tata is uh, win um, success. 
in the uh, run, in, yeah, one. Uh, so, oh, uh, that data is the uh, rabbit. Uh, rabbit uh, lost the game. Lost. Lost. Uh, lost the game. Lose. Lost. Lost. Lose. Lost. Lost. Win. One. One. Sleep. Okay. Slept. Slept. Run. Ran. Run. Okay. Have. Had. Had. Participate. Participated. Participated. Okay. Okay. Live. 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 Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. So this is the way we have to practice. Okay. Mm. As much as you practice, mm. it will be means the flow will be continued. Okay. मेरे अंतर को मार्ट लेते हैं आप लोग वड़ा अलग कंटिन्यू होता होंडे जन the fluency will be more अंडे मेरे fluency अलग होता होंडे मार्ट लेते हो मार्ट लेते हो मार्ट लेते हो उन लोगों को होते हैं Okay सारे fast का मार्ट डेल नहीं हुआ अंडे रात फस्ट मन नोट की अलवा चेयर मन नोट अलवा चेयर वी हाव टू स्पीक धैर्य से मुझे माटन ओके फाइन थैंक यू ओके ई हॉप यू एंजा दू एंजा टूडे फैंक यू मीट मीट